Okay, so that important segment of every construction project, which is what about windows? And Derek, you hear from your clients all the time. Everybody wants to maximize the size of windows, specifically here on the lakefront. You know, my brothers and I want that really good access. Everybody wants that wall of glass. I presume you're finding that as well. Yeah, it's, it's a very common request, especially on Lake Huron. Um, so yeah, we've used uh, LePage windows and doors on this project. So tell me a little bit about that. Why, why LePage? Um, they're a great Canadian company. Uh, we have a, a local supplier, Van Dollar's window, Windows and Doors, and uh, um, we've had a lot of good luck with them. The patio doors uh, work really well. The windows are very airtight, and they have a lot of different glass options. So those glass options we'll talk about in a second, but let's go back to that, that construction. Obviously, you want the aesthetics, the finishes, yeah. but in, in this case, you were saying to me, you have problems with wind, wind blowing in and so on with various door options. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, and here we went with a uh, patio door. We find them a lot more airtight. Uh, double in swing doors are very problematic uh, with the west winds we get off Lake Huron. So clients love that idea of the French door look and big open, but y you find that really difficult. Yeah, we have a lot of issues with them. And so Paj has just been a really good company to work for. We talked about window coatings. We bought that big piece of glass. People always ask me, so what does that do from an energy perspective? This is facing west, so we get that solar gain, big overhang here, but the three patio doors up top are basically seeing that, that sun. So we're always trying to balance technically the solar gain versus the overheating uh, concerns and, and the comfort complaints. So the nice part is LaPage is working with uh, Cardinal Glass, one of the largest uh, manufacturers of glazing units, and that gives you three or four different coating choices I think in this case we chose low solar gain on that west face. Yes, that's correct. And it all goes into the energy model, so we work through that to figure out the right mix of, of glass um, on that side to, to maximize the solar gain in the, in the winter time, but to reduce it in the, in the summertime. And so the weight of these, because we went to triples. Yeah, they, Tell were, us about that. they were very heavy there. We had uh, to make a little dolly system to get them around the house, and uh, they actually the upstairs ones we had to crane in, into the upper deck. That's getting pretty normal for you though. Yeah, that's not too uncommon there. The, the triple glaze windows are very heavy, very hard for, for men to lift. What, what percentage of houses now are going triple from in your world? I would say 75%. Really? Yeah. So that, that's something to keep in mind. I hear this from builders, oh, they're too heavy, they're too expensive, but you're finding your clients are finding them useful. Yeah, for the most part, yeah, they, uh, they like the options. And, and it still slides pretty well, right? It's, yeah, they slide great for the weight of the doors. It's surprising how easy they operate. So it's always about trying to find that balance, the aesthetics versus the operation versus the installation and then ultimately the energy performance and that's why you chose LePage because they're able to do that for you is that is that right yeah that's right yeah they, they work really well and so you're gonna be at triples you said 75% of your projects are triple you're gonna to want to look to suppliers who can get you triples still the good aesthetics and then it's about optimizing the energy model the type of glass I think LePage has what four or five different coatings available Yeah, at least yeah so a really nice ability to, to manage that energy versus aesthetics conversation. So obviously in the Cook Family Project, it's all about getting out onto the beach and onto the water, enjoying it. We've got five of these giant sliders in this house and it's gone very well. Yeah, yeah it's been great. Hey Derek, thanks very much for inviting Phil Barrick from LePage Windows up today just to help us through the, uh, the selection of doors and windows. Um, just help us understand how you choose a company like LePage when you start thinking about these kinds of projects. Sure, yeah, we look at a lot of different products and, uh, and uh, look at all the different features they have. So one of the reasons why we picked LePage for the patio doors at this project was the, the wood frame construction, a lot of different options for the glass types and styles and the hardware styles. Great, and Phil, uh, thanks very much for coming, by the way, it's very thanks kind Thanks for having me. Uh, just walk us through, you helped us in terms of choices, knowing that we were on the lake, we're trying to do net zero, a couple of things that you helped us with in terms of decisions. Right, so uh, well, one of the things that was important to Derek was to have a wood interior because he wanted to match the finishes that they were using in the rest of the house. And um, so we can do that uh, in different species and stuff and uh, with uh, lots of different finishing, we can pre-finish at the factory. Um, what was really important here was the glass choices. So um, we're one of the few uh, wood window and door companies that can actually incorporate a true um, triple glazed uh, unit with half inch airspace. So what we do is we actually make the sash 
um, wider. It's two and a quarter inches wide instead of inch and three quarter. And that gives us a lot more glass options. That was important here. One of the things I really noticed standing here is we've got waves crashing behind. It's pretty windy today and dead silence. Isn't that kind of cool? It's, it's such an important feature for us. We want to enjoy the wave some days so we can open, but other days we just want to have it peace and quiet. Yeah, so uh, as well as you know, the added value of the uh, of the energy efficiency of that glass is the, is the silence is a really nice thing that comes in. So let's talk about that. It is triple with true half inch airspace, argon filled. Argon filled, two coats of soft coat low E, uh, 272 from Cardinal. Right, and then managing that solar gain here we're west face. We've got good overhangs, but upstairs not so much. So we really want to met to. Uh, manage that solar gain. Absolutely, because in the summer here, and especially facing the way you are, you're going to get a lot of heat buildup. So that uh, that 272 glass really helps to uh, reduce the solar gain in the house. So so your air conditioning doesn't have to work so hard. And Derek, you must have felt it. I mean, the pretty heavy windows help me yeah. with that. Very solid. Uh, yeah, very, very heavy installing them, and nice and solid. So they seem like they're well built. And that Cardinal glass, I'm a big fan of Cardinal glass. They have great choices. How many different coatings would you have available to you, Phil? Um, from Cardinal, we have three, and then we also deal with some other companies as well. And uh, you know, really, depending on what the project is and what the specifications are, we can access glass from a lot of different companies uh, because we make our own glass. Actually, we have a, a glass factory where we produce our own sealed units, uh, so we're not just locked into one manufacturer's type of glass. Is one of the advantages of dealing with us. And then, in terms of air tightness, Derek, you're always concerned about that. But clearly, these windows have given you a good opportunity to meet your air tightness objectives. Yeah, they seem to seal up really tight. You were telling us last time the choices off the lake are limited. A lot of people like the garden doors, the swing open garden doors. Just walk through the patio door choice. Yeah, we've always found the double in swing doors. We have a lot of problems with them on the lake with the wind pressure, so we much prefer patio doors. These ones seal up really nice. So we've had a lot of good luck with them. Let's just open up. Phil, I wouldn't mind hearing, see if we could hear those waves today. So there's the difference. And as Derek was saying, air tightness, well, if you're not hearing any sound, there's a pretty good chance. You're also not having much air coming through there. So uh, they seal up really nice. Um, dual locking points when you lock them, so very secure, but that keeps the door and the wind uh, really tight against the weather stripping as well. So Phil, you may recall as my brothers and I were making choices or the families were making choices, they wanted more and more glass, including the doors wide open. I had a little bit of concern again from being on the lakeside, the resiliency. Help us understand why this is a great choice, this door. Well, a couple of things. You mentioned, uh, you mentioned uh, getting a lot of glass. So one of the things we offer is very, uh, an option of very narrow styles and rails. So this is three and five eighths which is uh, you know, a traditional door would usually have five and maybe nine inch on the bottom. And so this has three and five eighths, all four sides to increase the glass. The other thing is, is that we're using a two and a quarter sash. I mentioned that earlier. This allows us to, you know, the door to have a lot of strength and durability, but also allows us to get that thick uh, glass pack in there with the, uh, with the triple glazing as well. And then it's got a multi-point lock system. It does. So um, one of the things that's important when you're on the water like this, and these are some of the highest wind loads in Ontario right here where we are, is that when you engage the multi-point lock, it's going to lock the door in the center, but it's also going to drive a bolt to the top and to the bottom to keep the door tight against the weather strip um, so you don't have air infiltration or water infiltration, which can be a real problem here in this location. You were saying uh, when you test for impact resistance, because you do have impact resistant doors, no way to pass without the triple point. That's right, because um, uh, if you don't have the lock into the head and into the sill at the bottom, um, you know, there's enough movement in that door that it won't meet the hurricane wind loads that we need to meet when we're on the East Coast, for instance, and uh, we have similar wind loads here in Ontario in this location. Although it does create some challenges, as my brothers and I went through, we were kind of thinking about keyless entry, you know, people don't have to worry about keys, different families can't get keyless entry, at least not at this point, because of the strength of that lock. That's right. Right now, there really isn't any keyless entry that can lift this mechanism to put it in and, redu and pull it down to, uh, to engage and disengage the lock. So a lot of times, people put the keyless entry maybe in the garage to house door where that door is protected and it doesn't have a multi-point lock on it, just has more of a standard lock. Fair enough. So, but we chose that, you know, from my perspective, the theme was resiliency, air tightness, quiet, as we've already noted. And, and so you give and take a little bit in terms of technologies. Yeah, there's always compromises when you're building, isn't there, Gord? Right. So I really appreciate, Phil, uh, the, the work that LePage is doing right there out of, uh, out of Quebec. Uh, really nice high-end doors that maintain what I love is the aesthetics. You don't have to compromise on aesthetics to get that high performance.